Welcome, welcome once more to the Best You've Seen Entertainment nominees, also known as the Bison Awards. Yes! Yes! Let's start off with a pretty obvious category, movies. Now, I'm going to clarify this. If Avatar can be the must-see movie of 2010, released in 2009, then Wreck-It Ralph can be the movie of the year 2013, released in 2012. You have no idea how much I loved this gift. Moving on. Next up is the TV show of the year. But before we get too deep into that one, I have to make a little amendment. Because last year, I kind of forgot to do the TV show of the year. And I even had it written out in front of me. I, I just completely forgot to do it. Anyway, last year's nominees were... Pff, I can't remember, I just remember the winner. I think Breaking Bad was in there, but... The winner is Burn Notice. Because it was good. And now that that little amendment is done, this year's nominees are Burn Notice, Breaking Bad, Robot Chicken, and Cora. And the winner is... Oh, that's not good. The winner is... Breaking Bad. Duh. I mean, last year, this only didn't win because Burn Notice had such a fucking good moment in it. This, this year, Breaking Bad had every fucking moment in it. Every Breaking Bad conversation ever. Did you watch Breaking Bad last night? Fuck, man, I did not see that coming. Shit. Dude, that scene where they're at the table. His face... Dude. I was just like, oh, fuck. Just, she's just fucked, man. Shit, dude. And now, moving on to the thing that this channel is actually about. Games! Specifically, games DLC, or DLGC, depending if you want to be a cunt about it. And the nominees are... StarCraft, Ghosts... Wait. No, Ghosts was cancelled. Activision cancelled Ghosts. It all makes sense now. Bioshock, Burial at Sea, Part 1, Elizabeth, she's like, Rapunzel, um, girl trapped in a tower, magic powers, yeah, this is Elizabeth, and of course, Borderlands, Assault on Dover Keep, and the winner is, finally, my choice for Game of the Year. Not that you care. Actually, you do care, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. But that, really, that says more about your intelligence than the validity of my opinion. And the nominees are... Wreck-It Route. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If, yeah, I'm not doing that to us. That being said, I do have some honorable mentions. Pokemon! Disqualified for not being a Ruby Sapphire remake. Seriously, I don't want that. Oh, give me Ruby and Sapphire. Give me on! <laughs> Fucking Phoebus almost cost me a perfect 202. Not that I ever got Deoxys. Okay, serious nominees now are Grand Theft Auto. Now, it's time for a story. This originally wasn't nominated. This was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. However, this is a game based around sailing ships. This is a game based around driving cars. Which one do you think has the better fucking water physics? This one! I... I... I found this out, like, yesterday. I'm playing the shit out of this, getting the collectibles, just because fucking collectibles. I'd finish getting the collectibles in this, which honestly is half the reason that it got disqualified. I mean, said it's not winning. Neither is this. Because this is what should happen. I'm sailing. Oh, shit, it's a wave. <laughs> but this is what really happened. Very detailed! Next up on the nominees is the last quarter of Black Ops Ghosts. Or is it called Ghosts Dog? Fish AI. Fucking needs Fish AI! The first three quarters of this were pretty crappy. There were a few good sections, but all in all, meh. Then you get to the last five levels, it's like, holy shit, tanks, holy shit, space, holy shit, rainy death, apopolocalolololololips. That was pretty good. 
And then you get to the ending, and it's it's a really good game. And then Eminem, fuck this shit, zero out of ten, worst game of the year. But seriously, it's not that bad. Also, spoilers: the bit at the end where they don't kill the dog. That's so that you, as the bad guy, can kill it in the next game. I can't wait till next year for Black Ops 3. That's gonna fucking suck. It makes me sad that that was the best-selling Call of Duty game ever. Black Ops 1 was the best, and it was fucking brilliant. Makarov... No, not Makarov. Um, Victor Reznov. Victor Reznov. There is so much I'm gonna have to edit out of this. And, of course, with that troll I did in the last one. The last... Of us. Wait, this is Uncharted. No, this is Bioshock. Same voice actor. Okay, um, I'll be honest here, I haven't played The Last of Us. I want to, but I haven't got a PlayStation. So, I guess it's disqualified. I don't actually know what wins now. I guess it's, it's really not called Ghosts. Um, Assassin's Creed. Maybe I don't have a game of the year. There's just no standout game this year. I know. Deus Ex, Human Revolution, Director's Cut. Shiny, 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 shiny. Game of the year, Deus Ex, Human Revolution. Bioshock Infinite. In an alternate reality, this game won. And in this reality, it also won. And now for just an honourable mention. This game caught a lot of shit. Aliens, Colonel Marines, which by the title can explain why it caught a lot of shit. It's a colon joke. I actually like this game. I mean, it could have been so much better than it was. But it, it wasn't a bad game. It was alright. And I am against all the people who say this was a crappy game. But... This fucking game! They put out a fucking patch! It wiped everything! It wiped my save game! My multiplayer progress! My fucking collectibles! ALL OF IT! THERE IS A FUCKING DISC IN THIS AND I AM JUST SMASHING THE SHIT OUT OF IT! YOU KNOW WHAT? FUCK THIS! IT IS GOING FOR A TIME! Why didn't that stay there? <laughs> missed. <clears throat> Still pretty much missed. <laughs> I think I made my point. And that is the best you've seen entertainment nominees. I even made a 3DS gameplay capture device out of the coat hanger. No, really, you just clip it on and put your camera here. And you can. Well, you actually do this, it works! It's amazing! Oh, that didn't sound good. Ooh, uh, well. Now I have a reason to buy a 3DS XL. But really, movies this year, there was... there was what? Kick-Ass 2, 
Oblivion. Wait, no, Oblivion. Shit, I bought the... Oh, fuck. I bought this today. I was thinking of Elysium. Shit. See what I mean by there are no good movies this year? Ah, oh, That was fucking stupid. Man of Steel, Scary Movie 5, which I didn't even know came out. And I have both of them right here. Dragon Ball Z. Scary Move 5E. Um, White House Down. I'm Australian, so I wish they lost. Kick-Ass 2. Kick-Ass 1. Best movie ever. Kick-Ass 2. I didn't even see it in the cinemas. Not sure why. What else we got? Um, oh, Wreck-It Route. Wait, no. That one. That one too. And then, and the nominee, and then. How did I do that? Yeah, fuck it. And the nominees, and the nominees are, and the nominees are. That's it. It's, that's it. And the nominees are, wreck it route. And now that that's over with, I would like to state this. Gearbox, if you didn't fucking make Borderlands, and if you weren't teaming up with Telltale to make the Tales of the Borderlands or whatever the fuck it's going to be called, I would boycott your shit for the rest of a fucking eternity! You shitholes! Duke Nukem wasn't that bad, but, well, what do you expect? But seriously, you fucking cunts. I was one level away from clocking it on hard!